Good morning, Pastor Steve here. In our quest to hear the Lord better and do what he says, 1 Samuel chapter 3, this kid puts me to shame. Verses 1 through 10, Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no widespread revelation. And it came to pass at that time while Eli was lying down in his place, when his eyes had begun to grow so dim that he could not see, before the lamp of God went out in the tabernacle of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and while Samuel was lying down, that the Lord called Samuel, and he said, Here I am. So he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. He said, I didn't call you. Lie down again. And he went and lay down. Then the Lord called yet again, Samuel. So Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. He said, No, I didn't call you, son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again the third time, so he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you did call me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the voice. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be, if he calls you, that you must say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood and called as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant hears. When Samuel listened to the voice of the Lord, he was given a very difficult message. This young boy was to deliver a message of judgment to his mentor, a message that the judgment previously prophesied against him and his family was going to fall on them right off fast. I'm not as always as brave as this young man in my life, or haven't been. I've been a people pleaser. I kind of soft pedal things sometimes. Even though I delivered a message of judgment against sin, I was a bit fearful when I did it. I've been growing over the years. I'm still fearful, by the way, and I intend to stay that way, as I learned that love speaks the truth, gently, but truth indeed. This young man is an example to me. It says to me, don't hold back truth, even if it makes you unpopular. I fear there are <clears throat> some things I have not said, uh, and, and people I have not said enough to, and they're gone, and I can't retrieve those precious moments when I could have said, speak, Lord, for your servant hears. This young boy does convict me, I need to discern the voice of the Lord more clearly. I need to proclaim the simple truth of the gospel. I need to not think um, that the voice of other men or teachers is always the voice of God. There's one sure way to hear the voice of God. It is the revealed propositional truth of God's word. Here I find the story he wants me to tell. His call to me and to you is to go into all the world and as you're going, preach the gospel. <clears throat> I can't steal back the lost moments but I can follow this young man's example and speak the simple truth as God gives it. You know something? You can too. Now, you ponder that, Pastor Steve.